London beyond the typical tourist attractions, I'm going to show you three areas that you should check out. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jess and I make videos for people who are coming to visit London. located in zone 4 all the way at the end of the district line and it doesn't really feel like it would be part of the hustle and bustle of London because it has more of a quaint English village feel. The most famous part of that area is Richmond Park which is huge. It is three times the size of Central Park in New York. There are a lot of activities you can do around Richmond Park but my favorite thing that is the most impressive in my opinion is the amount of deer that are around so if you spot any go have a look just don't get too close. Back in the main part of Richmond, the highlight of the area is the River Thames. You will always see the locals enjoying it, whether by foot, on a boat, or at the pub. Bermondsey is really close to some major attractions like the Shard and London Bridge, but it has a quaint neighborhoody feel due to a major renovation that happened in the 80s. Now you'll be able to find lots of great pubs, bars, and restaurants, as well as the highly recommended Maltby Street Market. There are two main streets I'd recommend starting your exploring on. The first is Bermondsey Street, where you'll find the Fashion and Textile Museum. And the second is Druid Street, which is by Maltby Street Market, as well as a bunch of microbreweries and gin distilleries, all located under railway arches. And if St. John Bakery is open while you're in the area, drop by for the donut. It is a London institution. Head south and visit Peckham. You'll find lots of independently run food and drink spots here. Plus, the area is probably most famous for Frank's Cafe, which is a summertime bar located at the top of a multi-story car park. Also worth a visit is Peckham Levels, a workshop and community space located in a formerly derelict car park. This video is part two of a series about areas you should visit that you've probably never heard of before. So to watch part one, click the box down below. Oh, the dogs can be in it. The people can't though. Oh. <laughs> I sent to... Uh, yeah. Are you off at me?